responding to the climate emergency, tackling poverty, breathing life into old buildings. So some of the biggest issues that communities are facing right across the country, taking on just one of those would be a real challenge. But today I'm in Perth to meet a community project that's doing all three of those and are our most enterprising community award winners at the Scotland Loves Local Awards. So let's go in and find out more about them. Julie, 50,000 items reused, 10,000 visitors, it feels like most of them have been in this morning alone, yeah, yes, and 5,000 volunteer hours in the last yeah. year. What an amazing shop. Yes, it definitely is. Tell me a bit more about it. We take donations from obviously anybody um, and we distribute them into the shop for other people to take. So it's like somebody's rubbish, it's somebody else's treasure. We're, among, we're amongst the clothes yeah. at the moment, but uh -huh. I mean, th there's so much more. You've got the furniture next door yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, there's been people donating stuff. What, what, what sort of things are coming in and out of here? Every we get day? everything, mm -hmm. absolutely everything. Everyday items like ornaments mm. to electricals, obviously. Mm. I mean, yeah, it's it goes. as busy as this. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's been incredible. Yeah, right every day's, but and every day's different as well. Yeah. It's, How it's long fun. have you been in, uh, involved in the project? I volunteered about seven years ago. Right, okay. So I was a volunteer before I got the, the, the job. So Until yeah. you got to be the boss. Katrina! How do you feel about bringing the Most Enterprising Community Award here to Perth? It's unbelievable, actually, kind of gobsmacked. I've only been in the role since December last year, so mm -hmm. it's very fresh for me. But this project has been going on for almost 20 years now, so it's well-deserved and it's finally getting that recognition. Mm -hmm. You're not just tackling poverty, you're also doing your bit for climate change as well. And like you say, these are premises which otherwise weren't good use. So, I mean, you're ticking so many boxes. Well, as it was 80 units and our motto is caring for people and planet. So we've got two main aims. One is, as you say, it's tackling the climate emergency because we create so much waste, so much waste we create as individuals that go to landfill each year. We saved 48 tonnes alone from landfill. Um, from mm -hmm. Ju July 2023 to August 2024. So and that's just the volunteers in here that are yeah. sorting through all that. I know, it's a remarkable group of volunteers. Uh -huh. We couldn't do without them because we are volunteer run. We've only got um, three members of staff. So right. if it wasn't uh -huh. for um, our consistent volunteers, this project couldn't run at all. Mm -hmm. Obviously, secondly, because I said we're a deprived area, we're aiming to obviously beat that stigma and come mm -hmm. overcome poverty because especially now we're in a cost of living crisis there are so many people who can't actually meet basic essential needs and that's why this project has grown and developed so much and that we offer several allotments as well as we have allotments we have we do emergency starter packs for people who um, could be fleeing domestic abuse they could be just be we granted a council house for the first time new time mums um, and we can through different referral agencies give them Toasters, kettles, duvet, crockery, cutlery, furniture, clothes, you name it, everything they need to get started. Um, so we really have become a, a hub of the community. Kimberly, what a worthy cause this is, isn't it? Oh, I mean, this is amazing. I mean, this is definitely for me a humbling experience uh, to see what the team would be have done at the Latham Swap Shop. I think for me, the, the whole team have embraced the real need for appreciating local support um, and, and that for me has just been you know something that I will take away from today just how important these people have made this a dignified experience for all to use it. And in the time here we've heard stories of people that use projects and you know community folks like this and it does touch you doesn't it it's like it's it's so important to the local community. Oh, without a doubt, without projects like this in our local communities, what would these individuals and you know these people do? Mm -hmm. um, for me, I think that what I like about this particular project is that they are helping people in need, but they're doing it with a dignified uh, manner. But coupled with that, they're also appreciating other you know facets of our world that we live in just now, like climate change and the whole you know approach to reuse recycle that's really important to galvanize a bigger message than just the community support mm. so for me it's really an interesting example of using the sum of all parts to make a significant difference and this is something that could easily be rolled out in communities right across the country couldn't it? 
oh, without a doubt, this is an exemplar. Um, this is definitely something that, you know, covers everything. So even one part of it could be bordered with pride. But this whole model is something that we should be actively encouraging communities um, across Scotland to be doing the same. Do you know, the Lethem Climate Challenge is such an amazing thing when you think about it. It's doing something for social cohesion. It's a place for the community to come. That's the volunteers, it's the, the, the people that are coming and, and using the services to meet and catch up. It's helping alleviate poverty in the area. Um, I, I mean, the, the amount of products that are coming and going in this shop and how busy it is. And it's also a great example at the grassroots level, what people are doing locally to try and do their bit for the climate emergency. It is such a fantastic project and so many people doing such amazing work.